Welcome back to the classification videos. In this particular video, we're going to continue with our interpretation, but here we're going to specifically look at how the number of trees can influence the resulting accuracy. So the first step is to store the training logs. So we say model dot make inspector open and close parenthesis dot training logs. And so if we look at these logs, it sort of gives us all of these options here, which are not like we can see the accuracy in them, but there's not much that we can do there. But eventually we want to plot these. So we need to turn them into a data frame. So we say PD data frame. And in particular, I'm interested in the number of trees and the accuracy. Now we need to extract both of these values from this logs data set. So I'm actually going to create a, um, a for loop in a single line. So we say log.num trees. So this is our data set. And we say for every log in logs, print this data and store it in num trees. And so the, the important part is that this log matches that. So we could say X, we could say I, we could say number, um, but here we're saying log. So for every element in our logs um, data set up here, store dot num trees here. And then we're gonna do that exact same thing here, but we're going to change num trees to valuation dot accuracy. And then if we come down here and print logs df, we can see that it's now got this nice data frame where we've got the number of trees and the accuracy. And so then we want to plot that data. So we're gonna use ggplot. And so we're gonna plot logs df, and we're just gonna do a basic line plot where our x data is num trees and our y data is accuracy. And so we can see here that as the number of trees increases, so does the accuracy, but eventually it starts to sort of even out. And that sort of point where the accuracy starts to plateau is sort of the optimal number of trees. So the more trees you add to a model, the longer it's gonna take to run, but also the greater chance that you have of overfitting the data but if you have too few trees, well, then the accuracy is gonna be worse because there's not enough trees there to give it that accuracy. So there's always the sweet spot. And normally we look at where that is here. And so maybe you could argue that 30 trees, but you know, somewhere maybe 31 might be the optimal, but at 50, we're probably okay because we haven't had a too many additional trees beyond that analysis, but we certainly wouldn't want to go back and add more. And so this is a way that while you are running your own random forest models, you can go in and see if maybe there's an opportunity for you to improve the accuracy by changing the number of trees, which we specified all the way up here in our model definition.